This is going to be a really simple video. Well, actually, actually it's not gonna be a simple video, and you're gonna find out why it's not gonna be a simple video. But this video is going to be print on demand versus Amazon FBA. Which business is the right one for you? We are going to weigh up all the pros and cons. And in order to do this, I need my trusty sidekick. Well, not really, but I need the Amazon guy because as you can tell from my print on demand t-shirt, which is trademarked, so don't do it. But as you can tell, I am the print on demand guy. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing this and I have snazzy glasses on my head. And we're just waiting for the Amazon guy to get here. He's taking his, his, oh. Take your time. Hello. Yep. Amazon guy here. Yep. here. I, uh, Amazon box, Amazon hat. Not really an Amazon hat, but what are you wearing? Have you seen his, he's got the glasses indoor. What, what, what? Right, Why? now that we're, no, I'm saying this bit. I'm going to start. Now that we're both here, I, I want to start. I just said I'm glasses this bit. are just hilarious. I, I don't even now want Now that we're both... We're not starting this video until we address... Because I have to head. make us look slightly different with the glasses. I know you're wearing a hat. I, no, I'm not one of those stupid people. Okay, fine, I'll take them off. He doesn't want me wearing my glasses. <sighs> okay, look, I'm going anyway, I'm going to speak now because... Now that we're both now, here, no, you have to <sighs> subscribe. We well, don't have to do anything, but... One thing we can both agree on, and I think, yeah, 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 yeah. We, can. we can both agree on this is the best thing we should do, better than print on demand, better than Amazon FBA, is to subscribe to this channel and 100% yeah. click that subscribe Let's button. Let's just get started straight away. Amazon is a much more official type of business where you have to set up a limited company, you have to set up a business, a bank account. It just feels a lot more real, but with print on demand, like, what do you have to do with uh, print okay, on demand? Well, I get what you're saying, and it's a good point. However, you have to set up a limited company and you have to set up a business bank account, and you're making that sound like it's a good thing. We, on the other hand, the print on demand group of people, we don't have to do, I don't, know, I don't know what that was, but the print on demand group of people, we don't have to do that at all. I can literally just bang out a whole bunch of designs, 50 designs, 100 designs, put my PayPal into Teespring. Uh, Teespring is the company that I'm going to be using in this video but i can literally put my paypal into teespring and whenever i get a sale i will get paid directly to my paypal i don't need these fancy limited companies and these business bank accounts but but and this is a, a big but because if i really wanted to i could easily set up a limited company set up a business bank account and take this more seriously just like you're talking about taking your business seriously so yeah fair Okay, fair. I, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. But let's talk about cost. What does it cost? Because I know for me, <clears throat> sorry, for me, it costs £25 to uh, get set up with Amazon, right? That's how much it costs to have Amazon Seller Central. And then the remaining cost is assets. So what's the, what's the cost looking like for you? Because assets for me, £5. what's about you? 25 quid here. 25 quid. Okay, okay. I get your £25. Bowing down to your £25. But... In all honesty, Teespring has zero upfront costs. There's no startup costs when doing print on demand, really. The only costs you're gonna have are advertising costs. And if you have an audience, you don't even have to do those costs. It can be completely and utterly free. So even though you thought you were gonna win with that 25 pounds, I just knocked it out of the park because I have no costs. Like I said, I can literally just do this with free marketing. I don't even have to pay any money at all. Who are you kidding? It's going to take you bloody ages to get any sales with free marketing. You have a point. Yeah, yeah. You have no sales. You have no audience. Okay, fine. You're right. You're right. I understand. There will be costs associated with it because I would always, me personally anyway, would always run Facebook advertising or influencer marketing or anything until I find a successful design and then I'll scale up my ads. So yes, I hear you. You're right. There will be costs involved. It's not going to be free all down the line for me, there will be costs just because I will have to pay for marketing really. And that is why I love Amazon FBA because Amazon FBA, you upload something and it's free traffic. Amazon have millions and millions of customers that literally go to the website every single day. So when I have a product on there, I know people are gonna see it because people are searching for it because that comes into the product research. He can't do that. Now he's reading his magazine because oh, he's such a big man. But no, he can't do that. He puts the t-shirt on and he has to pay a whole bunch of money to advertise it. 
And if he's dreaming to get on the Teespring Discover page, that is like one of the hardest things to do, mate. You done? Okay, brilliant. Well, no, I wasn't done, uh... but you know what? You go. Because clearly you're rude and uh, obnoxious and a dick. Just called myself a dick. I can't argue with that, to be honest. I mean, am the, I done? I can't argue with that. What is the way that you could possibly what? make money from he this? He said, am I done? I can't argue with that. What are you talking is about? If you have a following of oh. millions and millions of followers. This one's a muppet. On Instagram, or not millions, but you have a huge following on Instagram, YouTube, whatever it may be, and you market your t-shirts to them. So in that sense, I have to agree that that's going to be a bit harder. Oh, a hundred percent. Like, if you have an audience, definitely utilize it. If you've got hundreds of thousands or millions of people on, on any of the platforms, then utilize it and sell them, sell them merch. You don't have to be a genius to figure that one out, but that is not what we're talking about because the majority of people who are starting this and watching this video don't have that because they're beginners. That's why they're watching which business to go into. So they don't have millions of people, mate. So now what's your big plan? Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, moving let's on. Get, let's, let's just get off of that. He wants to move on because no, I beat him in Let's that just sense. get off of that subject. Moving on. Um, oh, moving on. Let's talk about turnaround time. So turnaround time for my business is going to be maybe a week, maybe two weeks. And that's getting designs up, advertising, mock-ups, and actually starting to get sales. Whereas, hmm, what's your turnaround time? Yes, yes, I, I hear you. I hear what he's saying. Oh. Our turnaround time, Amazon FBA is three to five months, but it is completely different because, well, this is a proper sustainable business, as I've said so many times. And for example, me, I've been selling on Amazon for nearly five years now. And the first product I ever found, I am still selling that on Amazon every single day. I bet he can't say the same for his products, right? This is a sustainable business. Yes, it takes three to five months to set up, but it lasts. The longevity of this business is so long, like five years is just what I've done, but this is gonna go on 10, 15, 20 years without a doubt. Whereas with you, what, what is it like? You, you, you have a successful t-shirt and then you can't have another successful one for two months and then, oh, you have another successful one, but then you don't have another one for like two weeks and then, and then you, you have two successful ones, but then you have to wait six months. So it's, it's just, it's not as stable basically as, as this, right? Agreed, agreed. Getting products and shirts up for me is going to be really quick. I can probably do 20 a day. We can we all establish We can it. all establish that. It's going to be a lot faster for me. <clears> but no, he, I, he, he, he makes a point. Me. Getting sales for me is it's going to be so hard. Like you need a serious amount of motivation what to do this. Doing? And it is, it is super hard just having a design that's successful and actually, you know, getting sales. And I mean, the point is though, when you do get that successful design, oh my gosh, that feeling. Click the like button if you click the like button if you prefer Amazon FBA in that, in that sense. Uh, getting a sale. You can't just tell you to click the like button. I've got to agree you know, like with him in there, about right? clicking the like button. Click the like button if you think that's one of the best feelings in business that Ignoring you can get. Me, as he normally does, does always ignores me. T-shirts that you have designed yourself, hands down, the best feeling. You've done ignoring me now. You are an odd, odd human being. So odd. You get the most amazing feeling when you go to sale. Who are you, right? Can we just bring this back, bring this back onto costs? How much do these things normally cost? Because you talk about how you don't have that many, uh, many costs and, and, and I have a lot of costs, but my cost, let's say they're 500 to a thousand pounds or dollars on inventory, right? Yeah. And it's assets. Thank you. And it's assets, right? So I'm, it's not money that I've just thrown away, but with you, if you have 10 or 20 designs, let's say you have 10 or 20 designs that you're spending $50 each, because I know you spend $50 on your designs because I'm you, we have the same brain. Um, you are gonna have like, what, 500 to a thousand dollars spent just on advertising because you need to test out as many designs as possible until you have that one successful one. So if anything, the ad costs are quite similar. All right, I see that. Solid points, keep going. And Amazon is so much more brandable. You're, with print on demand, you have like tons of niches, tons of categories, and you just make random cat to gun to this t-shirt and it's not brandable or sellable but with amazon you find a brand you sorry you find a product you build a brand around that product you add products to that brand and then eventually you can sell it so it's far more sellable than 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 what than, than what that is print on demand yeah all right i guess so it is a bit random who is going to buy an amazon no don't mean amazon who is going to buy a print on demand company i'm getting mixed up with the amazons and the 
you know, but I am print on demand man. Um, yeah, no, he's right. I am right. Who's gonna buy a print on demand business? It's usually you have multiple one hit wonders. You don't. It's not like a big thing. So, yeah. And sorry oh, to, uh, to talk again. You know, be hitting you whilst you're down. But I just have to say to you, um, Amazon is far more passive, right? I built my Amazon business five years ago, and even though I don't really like the term passive because I feel like everything needs a lot of work, but I can sit back a bit more now, just like comfortably, and um, earn a bit more from Amazon. Still earn money, not a bit more, but earn money from Amazon, and it's more passive, whereas print on demand, you've got to constantly be banging out new designs, uh, be on it with the Facebook advertising or whatever advertising you decide you want to do, and it's just this is different. Once I put the product on Amazon, right, and once I have a whole range of products on Amazon, I'm going to see sales coming in. Like, I see sales coming in now every single day. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Let's, let's, let's round this up because you've been talking for an awful amount of time and uh, you haven't let me talk, so... Of course I've let him talk. What is he I'm chatting gonna do about? I've let him talk. And you just tell me once I finish this roundup what you think. I'm going to let him so talk. So to round up this video of Amazon FBA versus me print on demand, this is... This is where, this is what it's looking like. So if you are a person who wants to set up a proper big time business that is going to last years down the line, you've got more time to set it up, you've got you've got a few months to set it up, you're not looking for something quick right now. Um, not that there is get rich quick schemes, I don't think mine is a get rich quick scheme, but that's besides the point. But if, if you've got more time to set it up, you're okay for the complexities that come with it, you're okay for the, 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 yeah, the complexities, the difficulties <clears throat> of setting up an Amazon FBA business and, and you're willing to put in the time, then set up an Amazon business. And, and if it's something you, you're looking to He's grow to a point where you can set business, it down the line, listen. then yes, set up an Amazon FBA business because that is for you. But but if you are a guy, maybe you're younger or maybe you're older, who knows? Maybe you're middle age, right? Who knows? But if you're of a person who wants to set up a side hustle, right? Not, not something full time, not something that's going to take up all of your time then print on demand is probably for you. And if you've got a lot more motivation and you're okay to see shirts fail and fail before you get successful ones and you're, it's not gonna phase you, you're gonna keep going, mm -hmm. then yeah, I mean, try doing print on demand, especially if it's like a side hustle, then try do print on yeah. demand. That's about right. Yeah, I didn't really listen to anything he just said, but I kind of understand that, it's, it makes sense. But I mean, if we are being real and I know I'm the print on demand guy, but I have to say this, if we are being real, put a bit of extra time into the business, set up an Amazon business just because, I mean, Listen yeah, to you'll make saying. money randomly and a lot of it with print on demand, but with yes. Amazon, it will be sustainable, it will be yes. constant, it will be, it will be, it will be much more, uh, get your words right. What's going on with you? What's the word? What, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm not telling you. It'll be easier to plan, right? It'll be easy to actually predict what's going to happen and plan for it with, with Amazon. Even though I am the one guy, words. I still think I'm probably going to go and set up a, an Amazon business. But don't tell him. He thinks I can't hear him, but I can hear him because I'm sitting right next to him and he's me. But yeah, that is about that is about right. Everything he just said, I can't really disagree with. And I just want to say thank you and thank. Thank you, thank you, thank us, because this was ridiculous. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And again, I want to ask you, leave a comment down below. Which one you prefer, Amazon FBA or print on demand? Because at the end of the day, I want to know what you guys want. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video. It took me absolutely ages to film. I don't even know if it made any sense, but it was basically the Amazon FBA versus print on demand. And I hope you took something away from this and are able to decide what business you want to start. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You are an odd, odd man. I'm also an odd man. My gosh, what am I doing? How, what is this? How? Talking to myself. Oh, this is what quarantine has done. You can't, you can't make videos with anyone else, and you just talk to yourself. We're both odd men. Oh. Anyway, let's do that bit again.